Good evening, November 18th, 2009, day two of the 94th Annual New Jersey League of Municipalities Conference. With league workshops beginning yesterday at noon, most delegates had arrived by this morning. Several distinguished attendees shared their thoughts on the issues and opportunities facing the incoming administration. What I would be thinking of is that I need $8 billion and I need it in a hurry. What is so exciting now is the issues that Chris is talking about are issues that haven't had an adequate hearing in the legislature. He's the right person who can say, I can get, get people around the table and, and say, we're going to make the state more affordable. We're going to make sure that families who want to live here can continue to afford to live here. Their kids can go, afford to go to school. And that's the exciting thing is now having an impact, an ability to have an impact in the process in a way that is much more, more meaningful. That's part of the excitement. We also caught up with several mayors who shared some of the issues they are facing locally. You know, the city of Elizabeth is faced with a challenge over the next seven years. As container vessels are getting larger, they need a much deeper draft, and they're also getting taller. The Bayonne Bridge is going to cause an access point and a problem to Port Elizabeth, Port North. Either the Bayonne Bridge is going to have to be raised or removed and a tunnel built in order to connect Staten Island and Bayonne. But there has to be a structure in place between the Port Authority, the new Christie administration, and the counties and cities in order to maintain the jobs and the viability of the port section. And a lot of it has to do with access from these new super vessels that are being built around the world. The biggest challenge for us here in Atlantic City, as you know, uh, the number one uh, thing that drives this economy is tourism and uh, the numbers are down significantly across the industry and we've got to collectively find uh, a way out of this mess. Well, I'm very encouraged by what I have heard from Governor-elect Christie. Uh, he is dead set against VLTs. Uh, he understands how vitally important Atlantic City is to the state's economy. Uh, statewide uh, gaming, and I, or I should say tourism, is the number two industry in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we have had a tremendous investment with public sector dollars into the city of Atlantic City. We need to do all that we can to do to protect that, and I couldn't agree with the governor more. New Jersey Sharing Network was at the Mayor's Box Luncheon, where we caught up with League President and Mayor of Hope, New Jersey, Timothy McDonough. I thought the panel was very good. I thought that the questions were, were uh, very on point. People still want to know what's happening with their tax dollars, what is Trenton doing to make things better, a better quality of life for the people uh, out in, in the suburbs and in the urban area. So, um, and I think those were addressed today. Well, what surprised me about some of the questions today was there's still an awful lot of anger. Uh, you, some of the questions were, were geared towards, well, why are things happening like this? And, and why are we still in a mess? Uh, why didn't these uh, appointed officials, these uh, members of the governor's cabinet, why haven't they done anything about it? So there's still a lot of anger and there's still a lot of unanswered questions. I'm not sure the next level of government, which is state government or county government, are as, are as responsive as we are. And they need to get more responsive. They need to, to get out into the, into the fields, if you will, like mayors, and really find out what's going on in the state of New Jersey. Living behind those walls in Trenton just is not cutting it, and they're living in a different world. Mayors expressed specific concerns and discussed what they expect from the new administration is a real problem in the state of New Jersey and also in Plainfield with regard to the need to help homeowners uh, be able to stay in their houses, to help with regard to employment. And so um, I'm looking forward to some, uh, some state aid, hopefully that will come to the city of Plainfield. So those are the things that uh, I'm, I'm looking for, a partnership. We had a partnership with Governor Corzine and uh, hopefully with uh, Governor-elect Christie we'll have the same type of partnership. We cannot um, have discretionary aid based on party or, or uh, the size of the city or the town, it has to go with the resident. And I think if the governor-elect does that, I think we'll, uh, we'll, be, we'll be in good shape. I've talked to a lot of mayors here this past week, and I think we all have the same problems. The state is absolutely choking us to death with the mandates. Many of the mandated programs are obsolete, they're outdated, they're outmoded, they're, they're, they're ineffective. And in fact, I have just sent the new the, the governor-elect a complete list of the mandates. It's about a four-page uh, report showing all the mandates and the actual cost to the municipalities. Several elected officials stopped by New Jersey Sharing Network's booth to share some of their views on organ and tissue donation. When it comes down to organ donation, um, I do have an interesting story. My chief of staff, Denise Peebles, is actually a double lung transplant. 
And um, one of the concerns that is it, that's dear to me in the African American community is that African Americans and people of minority background do not donate organs or do not sign up to donate organs. And as a result of that, oftentimes you can't find organs when they're needed. Shared services was a hot topic at the conference. Well, we've got a tough road ahead of us, as does most of the municipalities in the state, with meeting budget deficits as the state and the, and the national economy have impacted everybody down to the lowest level. Um, part of the initiative that we've engaged in in Oradell is more shared services with neighboring communities to try and share services to deliver the same level of service to our residents while saving money. We're going to take a step back and look at whether or not we can move towards more robust shared services, potentially at least studying combinations of police department, Department of Public Works, so Mount Lakes will no longer have a sitting court meeting in Mount Lakes. We'll be having all of our cases dealt with over in Denville, and it's a win-win for everybody. So what we need to think about is that how can we uh, not only make use of the used, uh, shared services, but also see how we can uh, consolidate. I think that hopefully the governor-elect will uh, show us the path in terms of consolidating. Attendees also discussed why the League Conference is important and their experiences with New Jersey Sharing Network. You know, it's great networking. Um, I, I, the seminars are great. You know, we go to the, the classes, some of those things. But it's a great opportunity to meet other mayors from other towns. What are your problems? What are our problems? And I think you don't get that opportunity uh, any other place in the state than at the League of Municipalities. Well, the League has been very important because it gives you the opportunity to share with the other municipalities because you think a lot of times you're the only one with the problem uh, and, and you're able to, to bring a lot of information home which is great resources uh, and meeting with state uh, officials. I have been an advocate uh, either formally or informally for the New Jersey Organ and Tissue Sharing Network. I think it is a fabulous organization. There is actually a uh, workshop here at the convention, a very timely one, and we need to do whatever we can to help save lives. Tomorrow on League News broadcast by New Jersey Sharing Network, Governor Corzine addresses the conference and key officials react, distinguished public service awards, and the League session, Organ Donation in Your Community, Saving Lives Through Leadership.